I love this story so much. I saw this story last week, uh, and I said we have to have them on the show. It's a video of two friends who are out fishing. They noticed a helpless humpback whale entangled in ropes. Despite the obvious danger, that danger being it was a whale, they risked their own lives to save it. Look at this. Get, yeah, jump on the whale go. right now and cut it. Sam, cut it. Get it right now. It's right there. Sam, right there. Get it. Swim. Swim. Just get it, get it, get it, get it, before she dives, cut it, cut it, oh. did you get it, yeah! I saw, I saw this on the news, and I, was, I called uh, them immediately and said, let's book these guys on the show. I, I, I love heroes like this. I mean, you didn't have to do that, and you did, and it was incredible that you saved this whale. But um, So what do you do for a living, both of you? Um, so I'm a deck officer in the Merchant Marine. Mm -hmm. I work for Military Sea Lift Command. OK. And uh, Nick and I went to college together at the California Maritime Academy. Mm -hmm. And so we met seven years ago. Yeah, I work for a tugboat company in San Francisco on the water doing container ship escorts and uh, working on the bay. So, so you're in the water a lot, so you, you see a lot of things. Do yeah. you see whales often? All the time. Yeah. Never yeah. entangled, but yeah. Right, but that happens all the time. I mean, it, they get tangled up in fishing nets and all kinds of things. So at what point, when did you notice that something was wrong? Yeah, coming back in, we saw a buoy off in the distance and a bunch of splashing. You can kind of tell the buoy was moving. It looked like Jaws. It was just going across the water. And uh -huh. like, yeah. So we check it out. Right. We uh, drove over to go see what it was and saw that buoy and a bunch of rope tangled up by its tail and then another line going over its back. Okay. So, and then you tried to call. There's, there's a protocol for this. You tried to yeah. call. Who did you call? So I was like, Nick, call the Coast Guard. Like, and he just gets on the line and he's on Channel 16. So they took. Oh, what, Channel 16. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on the radio. VHS. <laughs> And so they uh, yeah, asked get... him for his name and phone number and uh, called some other There's, people. That's no time to hit on someone. That's just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so they, you tell them what's going on, and, and you're waiting and waiting, and they're not showing up, right? Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth, and uh, we finally didn't get an answer. And, and how much time had passed? Probably just... from when we first saw the whale to when we got her. Uh, probably like three hours. Three hours. OK, so you're like, even though they recommend not doing this, because you really could have gotten hurt. But then yeah. I'm jumping ahead a little bit. But yeah. you tried several times. But you think on the last time, she realized that you were trying to save her, and she stood still. She stayed on top of the water for you to cut that, right? Nick screamed at her and like, <laughs> stay still. And like, <laughs> she did. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that she realized you were trying to save her. OK, so you had to maneuver the boat to, to stay close enough for you to jump in. I mean, were you scared, or did you just, was adrenaline just taking over and going, I have to save this whale? Well, I jumped in, and Nick's like, she's right there. Uh, get her, or you know, whatever he said. Yeah, like. oh, he was telling you everything to do. Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. yeah. It was a team you're just, effort. You are just like yeah. steering the boat, get it! <laughs> He was straight up piloting a boat alongside a whale. Yeah. yeah. That's, we didn't want to hurt the whale. Yeah. Right. No, that you could have hurt her. That was yeah. amazing. OK, so I mean, because clearly that had been around her for at least days if it was embedded into her skin. So you could see there was marks on her body, and like her dorsal fin was a little chewed up. And we just felt so bad for the whale. Yeah, after we cut the buoy, we felt that, uh, and the Coast Guard said, OK, there's nothing else you could do. Leave now. It was like. We're not leaving this whale. We're like, not going to leave because no one else is going to be able to find it. You know, right. It's getting dark, and that's yeah. when I think. I mean, what did that feel again. like when you? Because I mean, how long did it take from the time you jumped in with the face plant to the time <laughs> you actually freed the whale? How long was that? I don't. It might have taken a long time, but Nick was just like, "Go, go, go!" So he had to pull me into the boat on the second attempt. And I was shivering, and he's like, "Go, go, go!" And I was like, "No, no, no!" And then, I, <laughs> and then I just did it, and so. Grabbed her by the dorsal fin and like 
Ellen, the line was so tight, like I had to, I fell off the whale and I just grabbed it with my fingertips <laughs> and I held on and like I made one cut and then a second cut and the line just popped. And then she just swam away? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that had to feel so good that you saved that whale's life. I mean, you saved that whale's life. That's amazing. Yeah, I, All right. So. <laughs> so, come on out, whale. We brought the way here. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you don't ever have to do that again, but just in case you do, we got you these to wear so that, uh... All right. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> can All I right. put it on? Yes, you can no. put it on. Put, put it, it on. on. Go to break. Um, and also, this is very weird, but Shutterfly loves people who save whales, so uh, they want to give you each a check for $10,000. Wow.